ExpressVPN Guide, Set Up Media Streamer on Your Apple TV, 4th Gen, TVOS. Use this tutorial to learn how to set up your Apple TV TVOS, 4th Gen, with Media Streamer by changing your DNS settings. Media Streamer not working? To use the Media Streamer DNS servers, you must sign into your host name provider and register your IP address with ExpressVPN. See detailed instructions below on how to do this. Contents, get your DDNS host name. Sign in to update your host name. Get your DNS server IP address. Configure the DNS servers on your Apple TV. Restart your Apple TV. Register your host name to access Media Streamer with DDNS. I cannot access or stream videos. 1. Get your DDNS host name. Note, Dynus standard free service is perfectly sufficient for most users. You do not need to create more than the four free host names in order to use Media Streamer. Go to https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and click create account. Create your account to receive the account verification email from Dynu. Open the link in the verification email then log in to your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and select DDNS services. Click on and add to add a DDNS service. If you do not have a host name already, enter your desired host name in option 1 and click and add. This is the recommended option FO users who are not familiar with domain names. If you already have your own domain name, enter your domain name in option 2 and click and add. Once done, you will see your host name and your current public IP. Uncheck both wildcard alias and enable IPv6 address and click save. And that's it. Your DDNS host name is set up and ready to be used. 2. Sign in to update your host name. From your iOS device, sign in to your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com. This will ensure that your IP is updated in order to use Media Streamer on your Apple TV. 3. Get your DNS server IP address. To set up the Media Streamer DNS server on your Apple TV, you will need to obtain the DNS server IP address. Open the welcome email you received when you signed up for ExpressVPN and open the link in the email. If you can't find the link, log into your ExpressVPN account. Once you've clicked the link in the welcome email or logged into the website, click on Set up ExpressVPN on the active subscriptions page. Select Apple TV on the left side of the screen. On the right, you will find the Media Streamer DNS server IP address. Keep it on hand for the setup. 4. Configure the DNS servers on your Apple TV. On your Apple TV, open Settings. In Settings, select Network. In the Network menu, select your current active connection. In this case, it's a Wi-Fi connection. In the Wi-Fi menu, select your active internet connection to access its settings. In the Connection Settings menu, scroll down and select Configure DNS. In the Configure DNS options, select Manual. You will arrive at the Manual DNS input screen. Note, we strongly recommend you write down your current DNS address slash setting before changing it for future reference and safekeeping. You may need it if you ever want to stop using our service. Enter the numbers of your media streamer DNS IP address, which you found earlier. 5. Restart your Apple TV. You must restart your Apple TV for the DNS change to take place. To restart your Apple TV, return to the settings menu. From the settings menu, select system. From the system menu, select restart. Congratulations. You now have access to the media streamer DNS services and can enjoy previously blocked content on your Apple TV. Note, media streamer DNS is not a VPN. It does not offer the same privacy and security benefits as a VPN. 6. Register your host name to access Media Streamer with DDNS. In order to use the Media Streamer smoothly, you must register your host name on the ExpressVPN website. Follow these steps to register your host name. Go to www.expressvpn.com and click on my account on the top header bar. Sign in using your account information. After signing in, click DNS settings in the top header bar. Under Dynamic DNS Registration, enter the host name you want to register and click Save Host Name. After the process is completed, you will see an indication that the host name has been updated. 7. You cannot access or stream videos. If you have followed the above steps but have trouble accessing or streaming videos, please feel free to drop a comment.